Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to remove database log shipping in SQL Server, and we'll be using SQL Server Management Studio Graphic User Interface. In this video, we'll be learning, looking at the status of log shipping of your database and removing the database from the log shipping. And after we remove, if we wanted to keep our secondary database for users to use, how can we bring the database from restore to online mode? So let's go ahead and do that. This is my server, and I'm connected using SQL Server Management Studio. This is my primary server, SQL Prod, and this is my secondary server, uh, SQL Mirror. So what we're going to do is take a look first in the databases that where um, we have set up the log shipping. So let's go ahead and right click. This is the database that I'm log shipping to my secondary server. Right click on the database, go to task, click on ship lo uh, transaction log, and it'll pop up the window right here which will tell you that this database is basically being log shipped from uh, SQL prod to, uh, to a TBS client SQL mirror and uh, this is the database name so basically uh, this is the status and let me show you real quick the status of um, our secondary server as you can see right here the log shipping um, is enabled and it's working fine and it's in restore sales orders what we want to do in this particular video we're going to remove it from our primary server remove the log shipping and after we remove the log shipping what we want to do is bring this database on secondary server online for our users to use in the meantime and once we get um, to go from our uh, business or um, your requirement is to put back your log shipping we can go ahead and do that after that so what we're going to do is now remove the database from the log shipping so we need to go in on primary server right click on the database and bring up the window for log shipping ship log tra uh, transaction logs here is our window right here is uh, if you click right here you will see that uh, this is uh, uh, the secondary server instance secondary database is sales orders so what we're going to do is remove this you highlight the database that uh, SQL Server instance that you wanted to do and click on remove it's gonna ask you whether you wanted to remove that you really want to remove that it's going to remove all the related jobs uh, copy and restore jobs we are okay with that so we're going to go ahead and click yes and click OK as you can see that it deleted the jobs on the secondary server which is copy and restore operation so next thing what we would like to do is go and refresh this and see this uh, sales order is in restoring mode so we want to bring this online and to uh, technique to this is that we want to bring this online using last transaction and um, using in recovery mode so you're gonna go ahead and right click on that database go to task and go to restore and go to transaction log so from the device we know our transactions were on they are on our uh, shared drive so we're going to go ahead and click on from the device add the device and we're going to go ahead and go to our shared drive you can put a UNC path right here and go to the shared drive right here is my shared drive as you can see this is my last transaction log so uh, log back up so we're going to go ahead and restore this in no uh, in recovery mode so that our database comes online and become useful for, for our users so we're gonna go ahead and select this okay and we're going to go ahead and option this option needs to be selected restore with recovery in order for this database to come online so we're going to go ahead and click OK as you can see database uh, sales order restored successfully we're going to go ahead click OK and now we should be able to let's go ahead and refresh this database and as you can see all the tables that we logged shipped from our primary server to our secondary server they are there and user can now connect to this database and um, uh, start using this database so basically this is it this is how you remove uh, database log shipping in SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio and I hope this video helps